Good afternoon everyone, it's time to declutter my wardrobe. And before we get into the video, I wanna say thank you to NHS Professionals for sponsoring today's video. They are the largest NHS flexible staff bank. Stick around later to hear about what they're doing this winter to help the NHS and how you can get involved. I'm gonna get my handy dandy book, <laughs> I wrote this, um, out for reference. So you can pause and screenshot this if you want a little diagram of what we're gonna be doing. I've wanted to do this since the new year, so it's been like a month of me looking at my wardrobe and thinking this seriously needs to be decluttered. I haven't done a declutter properly in the in this house, so we've lived here for nearly a year and I haven't done a declutter yet. And there are a lot of reasons why I want to declutter. One is because my wardrobe is a mess. I don't know if any of you do this, but when I know that I'm about to declutter, I don't keep my cupboards as tidy. <laughs> Mainly because I look at it and I think, well, I'm just going to be sorting that out later anyway. And I end up just using the same clothes over and over again. Another reason is um, because I have a lot of clothes I feel like I've just grown out of. Quite physically grown out of, but also mentally. My lifestyle is different. Um, I'm not travelling as much. And I have a lot of clothes which I feel like just remind me of a certain time in my life that isn't applicable for me anymore because I've just turned 30 and I have a lot of clothes that I just don't imagine myself ever wearing ever again. So they need to go. <laughs> and also because I just have too many clothes. So because I have changed in my body shape, I have bought new clothes in the last year or two, which means that I have less space in the cupboard. So I really wanna be critical, I want to be thoughtful and I want to have my wardrobe so when I open it, I can see all my clothes and hopefully this will remind me of some clothes that I have that I haven't worn in a while and also make me wear more clothes because I find whenever I declutter I end up wearing more of the clothes I like because they're not hidden away and I can see everything much more clearly and I want more of a sort of well-rounded wardrobe. And the first thing we're going to be doing is choosing an area. I'm going to be doing this wardrobe first but I want to do both wardrobes. I'm going to do my chest of drawers another day because it will become too much work. So basically you can either choose an area, like a physical area of your home, or you can choose a category. It depends how you like doing things. So for example, you could be like, I wanna declutter my dresses, I wanna declutter my coats, my shoes. You get the gist. Next thing is we're gonna take everything out of the wardrobe. I have this sofa in here that actually will be a part of this declutter because we've moved this sofa in at Christmas time. It's like a sofa bed from our office. That's gonna be going back in the office today because it's been here since Christmas and it needs to move, but it's gonna be useful just for now for me to put all my clothes on. And this is really important because it really helps you to visually see the stuff you have. And it looks so much more when you take it out of a cupboard or out of a wardrobe. In a wardrobe, things can hide, things can sneak away, and it's so important to do this. If you don't wanna do loads of it, like what I'm planning on doing, is I will take everything out bit by bit, section by section, so that I'm not creating too much of a mess. And if I get to a point where I'm like, right, I'm tired, I'm done, then I can stop. So I'm gonna start by emptying the hanging clothes and work my way through those first. And then we're gonna do the jumpers, my leggings, my shoes, etc., etc. And I'm really excited. I really am looking forward to this. I'm also gonna do this with Alex, maybe another day, because his wardrobe is maybe even worse than mine because he has clothes from like when I met him what 11 years ago <laughs> so these are the wardrobes these are i think they're ikea wardrobes and they're here in the house when we bought it they're really amazing because they are pretty massive and it goes all the way down to the floor so this is one look at the mess too much mess and then we have this secret one in this mirror which if you watched my unpacking video <laughs> i didn't realize this was here but it actually is great for all of my long dresses so it hangs all my long dresses in here and this can get quite packed in and I think there's a few here that I can get rid of. The ones that I wear all the time are in the wash so we don't need to worry about them. And then I also have this here. Can you see this? Kind of. This is like some summery stuff and some coats. It's not really got much in here but I want to rearrange it a bit because I don't really like the setup. I wish that my long dresses could go in that one but then the, um, the hanging rail it's only halfway, but I actually think I'm just going to put my long dresses up here because like I said, it's a little bit squished in here and I tend to, you may have noticed, wear a lot of long dresses. But let's start in here. And like I say in my book, 
let's take all of this out. So I took out the hanging stuff and the jumpers and all the crap on the shelf. It really needs like a clean. And I kind of don't want my perfumes to be there because, but then it's like, where do I put them? Because I know you're not, are you supposed to put them in the window? I feel like that's bad. That's like a no-no, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's fine. So once we've taken everything out, we're gonna make piles, which are yes, no, and maybe. So that's what we're gonna do now. Hopefully this will be relatively simple. I can already see the stuff that needs to go in the no. Yes, definitely yes. Though this has a mark on it and it really makes me sad because it doesn't come out in the wash. These jumpers I'm not really sure about. Colourful Standards sent them to me recently. I asked for the largest size they had, which I'm pretty sure was an extra large. Maybe it was a large. I'll put on screen the size it was. I'm a size 12, sometimes a 14 for reference. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea that they did recycled wool. Colourful Standard are doing great things, sustainability and ethics wise, they're a great brand. And I asked them if I could return them and swap them for the size that would fit me or for something different altogether. And they said, sorry, we don't do returns when it comes to sending out PR products. I think that's a bit bad because basically they're okay with this not, you know, this going to waste. I um, don't know what to do with them. Part of me wanted to keep them because I was like, they're really lovely quality, but now I'm looking at them. I think I'm gonna try them on actually, and I'll show you what I mean. Maybe I'll try them on and change my mind, but I just, I don't know. With these trousers, I don't mind it like tucked in. Like it's not the end of the world, but if you compare it to the organic basic jumper I was just wearing, the fit of it is so much nicer on me. And I don't know, I feel like I need to give these to a friend um, because they're really lovely. I think I'll give them to my sister. So I'm going to give both of these away. So they're gonna go in the no. Very sad about that. I wish they would have fit me. This is definitely a yes. I've had this for years, years and years. I got this in Brighton actually. I'll link the video up here. This is my other Organic Basics jumper. Same as this one. This is size extra large. And do you see the difference? Like the arm is like significantly larger and this is supposed to be one size up and look at the fit of this. Like there's so much, I got it extra large so it'd be nice and baggy, but like how much extra, I have this in all different colors and the wool actually is softer. <laughs> um, I've got it in pink, I've got it in gray and I've got it in like a uh, rust color and they're probably my most worn items. You see me wearing, wearing them in every video, <laughs> every video during the winter. This is actually something I pass on to Alex, so this needs to go in his drawer. It was mine, but I didn't really wear it very much, so I gave it to Alex. Because it is a men's jumper. I didn't just give him um, <laughs> a woman's jumper. Um, wow, I forgot about this. I This is what I mean. I had just completely forgotten about this. This is a lovely sort of cream turtleneck. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I realized that was in my wardrobe. It's really soft as well. This I got in a charity shop like a year ago. This is a really silly buy. It has um, these bows on the back, which I thought were really cute, but it's just so impractical. So I never reach for it um, and it doesn't really fit me great. So I bought it, I don't think I tried it on. And when I tried it on when I got home, I was like, eh, I don't like the fit of that. So that's gonna go into the no pile and then this is another turtleneck that i do love and i'm gonna keep and do you know what something i've also realized since moving to this house because our wardrobes in here are separate from our bedroom and there's nowhere to fold i have gone back to folding the good old classic way of folding that i learned growing up i've ditched the mary kondo rolling kind of thing because you have to have a flat surface to do that so in order to fold like that it just doubles the amount of time it takes for me rather than me literally doing this on my lap. It's done, it's folded. I don't have to worry about having to take it next door, do it on the sofa and roll it all up. If something doesn't work for you, you don't have 
to keep doing it because it's like the way that people say you should do it. Um, I definitely liked it when I had, when we, when we just had our chest of drawers in our bedroom, but because we've got a different setup now, it's just not convenient. This is my beautiful Stay Wild Swim shirt. I love it, so that's definitely staying. Massive, yes, love this, Linen Fox. I adore Linen Fox clothing. I would love this shirt in every color. Um, I will link anything of significance down below, and if I have a discount code, I will also leave it down below um, if any of you wanna buy any of these things. Yes, I love this, though I think I might fold it. I think I got this, either in college or university, I don't remember which, but it's, it's stood the test of time, that's for sure. Definite yes, this is new. My only issue with this top is the buttons undo really easily because they're like really small, uh, these small buttons, which is kind of annoying, but I adore it. It is beautiful. Naked Generation. Yes, another Naked Generation beautiful top. Another yes, Linen Fox boxy top. I've got this in white and black and I live in them in the summer. This I'm not sure about. I've had this for donkey's years. This was from, I think either Depop or a charity shop originally from H&M. I love the sleeves, which is why I tend to keep it. No, I'm gonna keep this because I do end up wearing this in the summer because it's so lightweight and thin. It is kind of perfect to wear on like a really hot day, um, but maybe not. it's not like you're showing loads of skin. It's like covered up and it's quite girly. Like it looks really lovely with a pair of jeans. Definite yes, another Organic Basics shirt. Love the stripes. This looks amazing with these trousers, which are also Organic Basics. This I'm really not sure on. This is from Brandy Melville. This is the kind of thing I was talking about earlier with clothes that remind me of a time that is just not relevant to me anymore. It's teeny tiny, it's floaty. I did wear it actually this year, once or twice underneath things, but I don't know, I kind of want to keep it. This is my issue, I'm like, I want to keep it because it's kind of practical in the summer if you're wearing like, I think that's what I wore it for. I was wearing a swimming costume and I put this over the top with a skirt or something just because it's easy. Yeah, I'm going to keep it because I do think I do wear it. This is the black version of the white top. Linen Fox again, nice boxy linen top. And then this cardigan, and I think this cardigan's going to go. I got this again in the charity shop uh, like a year ago, no, a couple years ago. I think I vlogged it and I just haven't worn it. The colour is to die for, which is why I got it. I do tend to suit navy um, and the gold, I just thought the navy and the gold was beautiful, but I just haven't worn it. I genuinely think I've worn it once since that video. So sometimes you can like an item of clothing, but if you've not worn it, then it just isn't meant to be in your wardrobe because either it doesn't fit within your other clothes, you don't find it comfortable or it doesn't fit your lifestyle. You can like clothes, like I often look at other girls and think, wow, they look so cool. But realistically, if that item of clothing was in my wardrobe, I wouldn't wear it. And I don't know why I don't wear this one because I have other cardigans I wear. It's just proof is in the pudding. I haven't worn it, so it's got to go. So that was really nice and fast, very easy. I'm gonna put these back in the wardrobe. I wanna take a quick break from decluttering to talk to you about today's sponsor, NHS Professionals. I have so much to thank the NHS for, not only over the last 18 months or two years of this pandemic, all of the healthcare professionals and everything that they have done for everybody who has got sick from COVID and the immense pressure that they have had, I can't even imagine. And I know I have experience within my family, people um, in my extended family ending up in hospital from COVID and then being taken care of and they are fine now. Years ago, my dad was diagnosed with cancer and it was a really difficult time for the family, but he got through it. He had prostate cancer and he got through it because of the NHS. He had radiotherapy, he was taken care of, he was looked after, and I thank those doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals every single day because he's still here with us and they were able to detect, detect it really early and take care of him. I have so many examples of this. Right now my sister is pregnant and even just this morning she was telling me about how looked after she feels because every time she goes in to see the midwife or to go and speak to the doctors, they do so many tests, they make sure everything is safe, they double check, triple check everything and she has had a really positive experience during her pregnancy with her midwives and her um, doctors 
keeping her feeling safe during this pregnancy when there have been uncertainties because pregnancy is an intense thing to go through and they've been there for her. And that's why I wanted to share NHS professionals with you and work with them today because the NHS means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to a lot of you. So if you don't know, NHS professionals are the largest NHS flexible staff bank. They place highly skilled temporary workers in NHS trust to meet their short, medium and long term needs. So they specialise in flexible working, which means you can decide where you work, when you work, how much, in line with your qualifications, your training and your lifestyle. So anyone from nurses, midwives, doctors, NHS trusts, if you're allied, health professionals, healthcare scientists, personal social services, etc. you can all sign up if this is something that you're interested in. Even medical students here in their last years of training can also sign up to NHS professionals. So some of the initiatives NHSP are focusing on is a work-life balance so that you have the ability to choose your shifts and get paid on your leave so you can take the time that you need and choose the work that you're doing and also a bank member engagement strategy, which basically is a way for them to understand what the members want from their roles and their shifts. So if this does apply to you, if you're a trained medical professional or if you're looking for non-clinical work, there is opportunities for everyone if it's interesting and this is something you're after. I'll leave a link to NHS professionals down below and a huge thank you to the NHS for everything that you've done over the last few years and anyone who's watching me who is working within the NHS, I honestly am so grateful for you, for everything that you've done for me and my family and everyone around me, just in general. I am so ever, so everlastingly appreciative and grateful. And that's why I wanted to share this with you at the end of the day, because if it does apply to you and you're looking for more flexible work to fit your lifestyle, whatever that is, then I've helped someone. I'm actually gonna work my way through these drawers and not put them back until the end because I think I might change the layer, layout of it because I have one drawer at the top which is really big that I used to put my t-shirts in and then I have a drawer below it that's got like jumpsuits, um, trousers, jeans and it's stuffed so I think that needs changing a little bit. So these were just in my kind of t-shirt slash I don't even know what drawer. It's never very full so I think this is the one that needs to be changed around. So these are a pair of really comfy trousers from People Tree. I wear them all the time, so they're staying. This is what I was talking about with the way of folding. It's this way of folding, which I'm just not gonna do anymore because it means I have to sit down and do it. So these are my sea salt tops, which I love. I wear them underneath jumpers all the time. They're really comfortable. My favorite striped t-shirts by far. So I've got a gray one got a navy one. They're kind of like an all year round sort of thing. This is a striped t-shirt that I'm considering getting rid of. I've had this, I think I've had this since I was maybe about 16 or 17. It's a Topshop cropped striped t-shirt with little miniature shoulder pads in. Any of you my age remember when like shoulder pads were trendy and all tops had shoulder pads in them and it's cropped so I just don't wear it because I can't think of a scenario in which I'm going to be wearing a cropped top. This is the issue though when I like I start talking about it and then I start convincing myself oh maybe maybe I would wear it if it was the summer and <laughs> but no I haven't worn this I don't think I've worn this since we've lived here. I say I don't think I know I haven't <sighs> no, no, I have another striped top that I actually prefer to this, so no, this is gonna go. It's time to go. I'm now 30 years old. Let's change, let's change the dealio. This is the sort of thing I'd probably wear instead, is what I mean. It's an actual t-shirt that you would tuck in. This is also from Sea Salt. I think one year I mentioned to my family that I liked the Sea Salt striped t-shirts and um, they all got me one. <laughs> <laughs> so I have quite a few. I actually only think I bought one, but they've um, they've got me ones outside of that. And this is also another one that I would probably rather wear. This is for a charity shop a long time ago. It is kind of cropped, but because it's fitted, it does tuck in a bit better. And I think I prefer this one because of the um, boat neck. It's really like cute. So I'm gonna keep that one. But how many striped tops does somebody need? I'm now at one, two, three, four, five. This is a red one. So we've got gray, navy, blue and red, 
kind of white and black or black and white and then red and I think that's that's all my striped tops I wear all of them so they're all a yes and then we've just got some vests got two from people tree a white and a black one and then I've got one I've got a couple actually from organic basics these are all sort of things you just wear underneath jumpers so I will keep them in here though I kind of I kind of get annoyed about my clothes being in two separate places because I've got my underwear and pajamas next door and then these here and these sometimes kind of feel like they're they're not underwear but they're like undergarments that you wear with things um this is a crop top look how tiny that is I'm definitely not this size anymore this is Topshop Tool UK 10 um I think I've had this since I was again like 16 or 17 and I used to wear this either I would wear this as like almost like I'd wear it as a bra replacement um, when I didn't fancy wearing a bra. My boobs are a lot smaller back then. <laughs> Who else gains weight in their boobs? Because I do. Um, and I just, I just think if I was to wear it now, my boobs would fall out of this. Like I just don't know how that would work. So that's gonna go. It's also just not, even if it fit me, it's just not really part of my sort of style anymore. Um, this top, I kind I want to keep it, but it's got this issue that I've told you about, these um, rust stains. Um, you can't really see it, but all of my white or pale colored clothes get these rust stains. I think it's from our old pipes and it just makes it look really tatty. So that's gonna go in the no pile. I do have a bit of a toxic trait though with keeping t-shirts for painting and DIY. So I'm actually gonna put that in there and then we're gonna decide together like, two outfits max for that because I've now just got a big bag of old clothes which not really ideal. This I will never get rid of because it was my dad's. Um, he used to wear it and then I was like can I have it? Um, I think he would be sad if I got rid of it. So this is used to be my dad's and then I chopped it into a crop top. Kind of wish I didn't chop it into a crop top because I'd probably wear it more if it wasn't a crop top now because that was very much the fashion. Um, but I'm gonna keep it and I will wear this in the summer because it is so oversized. Um, I will wear that. Look, another striped top. The next drawer is my jeans, trousers, jumpsuits. This drawer's gonna be tricky because going through a pandemic, why would I put on a pair of jeans when I can put on a pair of trackies? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Also, Weight fluctuation means that lots of these clothes don't fit me and I have a very hard time letting go of them because of my own body dysmorphia issues. And also, I don't know, I'm not gonna totally get into it, but it's difficult. You, I'm sure lots of you understand. When you gain weight, you lose weight, whatever it is, it is kind of a bit weird to get rid of your clothes or change your clothes. Not only from like a waste perspective, like I feel wasteful getting rid of them when I think maybe they will fit me at some point because a lot of my personal weight gain is to do with my mental health and like being sad. So I know that when I'm aiming to be happy, um, like I really hope 2022, I'm gonna be a happier person and I'm gonna really tackle a lot of my mental health problems. Um, and that might mean that I am a different size at some point. I don't wanna get rid of clothes that I potentially might fit one day and then think, wow, that was a waste to get rid of them. But also the other half of my brain says to me, Maddie, this is not what you preach. You preach getting rid of stuff if it doesn't fit your lifestyle now and to just let it go. And if that day does come where maybe you don't fit your clothes anymore, you can buy new clothes. So anyone feel the same? It is tricky. It's a real tricky one. I don't know what to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, my sister said to do this, and this is something I actually do recommend in the book. If you are unsure about things and you're not ready to let go, put them in a bag and hide them away and come back to them in three months or come back to them in six months and then reevaluate. It's a really good stepping stone so that you have space in your wardrobe. And what might happen is I may look at my wardrobe and go, do you know what those things I don't miss and I don't need to think about them. And I'll go up into the attic in six months time and go, I'm just gonna get rid of them because why am I holding on to this? This is my own like mental battle um, that I'm having about my body and about weight and all this sort of stuff. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. and. I think that that's the best way forwards because I have held on to a lot of these things uh, for the last year or so. Uh, these jeans, they haven't fit me, I don't think, since, what year is it now? I think they last fit me in like 2019, it's 2022 now. So I'm not sure 
if they're going to fit me because I think they're like a size 10. I got these in Brighton. Um, I think they're like ASOS reclaimed denim or something. They're really nice jeans though, but no, they weren't that amazing. I'm pretty sure I have this issue and I'm sure lots of you do too, where jeans fit me on my legs and they're massive on my waist. And these were that kind. So I didn't even think they were that incredible to begin with. And they're really decent jeans. I reckon my sister, when she's uh, not pregnant anymore, <laughs> she will actually like these. Uh, if not, I, they're really good, nice pair of jeans and they can be probably sold on Depop or uh, a charity shop will appreciate them. So bye-bye jeans. <laughs> this is a jumpsuit that I got, I don't even know when, from m and I think it's a size 12. I've never worn it though because it's really short on my legs. And I think that um, high street shops have an agenda against people who don't fit sample sizes to make their clothes not fit you. If I put any of these things on my Depop, I'll link them below. Don't know if I'm gonna do that though. These are a pair of Everlane trousers. Again, they're a size 10. These are the pair, these are a pair that are gonna go in a bag away because I don't know if I'm ever gonna be a size 10 again. So they're gonna go away and I'm gonna have an emotional, like chat with my therapist about this and ask her what she would do. <laughs> cause there's obviously some issues that I need to think about, um, being very open. Next pair of jeans is this one. Again, I had these in Brighton. They're a size, again, they're the same size as those jeans. I really like these though. These were secondhand on Depop and I just think they're very cool. But then even when I, no, even when I wore them when I was a size 10, they were tight on me then. They were really fitted. They made my butt look amazing, but they were very tight and I actually didn't wear them very often because they were so tight on my stomach that when I sat down, it was like, Ugh! so, they were very much a show pair of jeans that I would wear if I was going out and about for the day, but not if I was sitting down. And how often in my life now is that gonna be the case? If I'm gonna have a pair of jeans, I'd rather have one pair or two pairs, one black pair, one jean pair, and I would rather they were comfortable for any scenario, for sitting down in, for eating in, for going out in. These, oh, I haven't seen these in so long. These are a lovely people tree pair of like flared trousers. Um, I think these still fit me, they're just a bit snug. So I'm gonna keep these in the drawer. These jeans, I just, I'm 30, I'm not sure I'm gonna be rocking these anytime soon. If I was to have a pair of jean shorts, I think I would go for ones that were more like mid thigh than ones that basically go up your ass crack. Um. <laughs> this is the pair of jeans that I'm definitely gonna keep because I bought these, I think, in 2020 or 2019. Um, and they don't fit me now, probably, but I'm gonna put them in that bag of things that I'm not ready yet to let go of because I think they're gorge and they were very comfortable. I've got a lot of um, jumpsuits uh, or overalls. These are all from Lucy and Yak. I adore them, I wear them all the time. I've got pink ones, which I love. Actually, I need to wear those more. It's really reminding me, I love doing this. Even if you don't declutter, do this with your wardrobe just to fall in love with it again because it's easy to forget the clothes that you have that are gorgeous. These are some vintage dungarees. That was the word I was looking for. They're not jumpsuits, they're dungarees. Very wintry and beautiful. This is another pair of Lucy and Yak dungarees and they are velvet navy. I have a bit of a problem with dungarees. See, I absolutely adore these dungarees, but they need fixing. I need to get a new one of these buttons online somewhere and fix them. So they're gonna go in the fixed pile because the only reason I don't wear them at the minute is because I don't have one of those buttons and there's a there's a hole. But I like the fact they're not, um, the legs are like a little bit flared, they're like collots. I had totally forgotten about these. Do you remember when I got these in a video? This was like a, a video that I did, I don't know, 2019 or something. And I was buying stuff to make me feel better because I hadn't been shopping since I'd put on a bit of weight. And I put on more weight since. <laughs> um, nothing wrong with that. I don't wanna make this video about that and make it out to be a bad thing because it's not a bad thing at all. Um, 
I'm only touchy about it because of uh, patriarchal standards and fat phobia. <laughs> Here we have one of my only fancy pants outfits um, that I can wear to like an event and it is beautiful. It's a jumpsuit in this really lovely like, a I like to call it like a accordion material, you see that? Um, it's got a sexy low back. I wore it to the David Attenborough Our Planet premiere and I felt very fancy because I just was around loads of celebs and I was like why the hell am I here? <laughs> um, and it was from Depop which was very very cool so I'm gonna keep that but I'm pretty sure it doesn't fit me right now so that's going in that pile. Oh, hoodies and jumpers. Too many hoodies and jumpers. This one um, that I got sent recently from um, from R Floor Clothing, I wear all the time. It's my massive, massive hoodie and I wear this to the gym in the mornings and it's my most worn jumper. I literally wear it till it gets dirty, it goes in the wash, wash and then I put it back on again because it's so big and oversized. And as a five foot 11, six foot gal, big oversized jumpers are hard to come by that actually cover your bum. My beautiful Organic Basics sweat suit, I like to call it. I actually think I might buy myself another set because I wear this so much and they do loads of different colours. We've got my um, St Andrews University hoodie, which I don't really wear. And I don't know why I don't wear it because that's perfect for the gym. Now I'm going to remind myself to wear that to the gym because sometimes I moan. I'm like, oh, I've got no jumpers, they're all in the wash. We'll wear this one. Can I find my name? I think my name is the first name. <gasps> yes, look, Madeline Abbott. Because it's alphabetical. Class of 2014. I know that a few of you are at St Andrews or went to St Andrews because I get those messages sometimes. So let me know if you went to St Andrews or you're there right now. Okay, we're on the last, last draw. <laughs> this is the biggest one. This is the one that has my sports clothes. So I've got lovely swimming costumes. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these because I love all of them. This is Stay Wild Swim, how stunning. I'm gonna pop this jacket on a hanger because I forget it exists. Um, and this is perfect as it gets a little bit warmer to wear for dog walks, running to the gym, etc. I'm gonna hang him downstairs as well because I wanna get back into cycling. Cycling is something I really want to get back into. I have lots of cycling gear. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I used to cycle all the time. I even went to Asia, traveled around Asia with my bike. It was a very cool thing at the time, very um, YouTube vegan scene, but I do genuinely get a lot of joy from cycling. And when I look back at some of the happiest times of my life, it was when I was cycling. My Organic Basics swimming costume, super comfortable and basically feels like you're wearing a wetsuit. It's amazing. I've got a lot of Girlfriend Collective um, sportswear. Talked about it before, I don't wanna get rid of them. They're too nice. I do wear some of them still, um, the size medium ones, but the size small ones, they just don't fit me anymore because they're like a size eight to 10. I'm not a size eight to 10, but they're not going anywhere. I'm gonna put them in that bag um, and I will reassess. Anyone been watching Cheer? Because they all wear these um, shorts, the Nike Pro little uh, booty shorts. Look at that is for. <laughs> just how much space I have. This is my um, bag of painting stuff, like I said. Um, it's ended up <laughs> being far too much. We've got my Harry Potter pajamas. This was definitely at the height of the kitchen renovation where I was like, I just want to wear pajama bottoms. I'm gonna keep those. 
for painting. So finally, it's time to do the shoes, but I'm dreading, but also excited for, because these are taking up too much space. So let's grab them all out. I also have shoes downstairs, which um, I want to bring upstairs because I have found that there's a missing pair of shoes in my wardrobe. I have got two pairs of Doc Martens. One is a red pair, one's a black pair. I wear them constantly. I live in them, they're my favorite shoes. But I wear them and they get muddy. So I end up wearing them on walks with Roxy and then they get muddy and then I don't wear them when I go out because they're covered in mud. So I'm gonna buy a shoe cleaning kit. I'm gonna clean them up so they look beautiful, clean the laces, everything. Bring them upstairs so I wear them when I go out and I don't wear them on dog walks. And um, I also got my pair of Finisterre Blundstone boots which I took with me to the Cotswolds. And I, again, I want those shoes as shoes that I can wear that look nice. And I'm gonna get myself a pair of walkie boots because I have a pair of wellies. I'm also gonna get myself a pair of wellies because yeah, I have a pair of wellies that I've had, I think, since I was about 13 or something. I don't know, we got them when I was a teenager, I think, maybe even younger. And I just took them from my parents' house and they are really uncomfortable and they won't clean inside. No matter how much I clean them, they always stain my socks. Um, and they just are really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna get myself a pair of walking boots. Alex and I are both gonna get some. Recommend any brands that you like of walking boots. I adore these. These are from Vivea. I got them very recently. They're the perfect summer trainer to wear when they you wanna wear like a nice outfit with a nice pair of trainers. I have got some heels which usually are worn on holiday um, or if there's something I don't know, fancy going on, but I don't really wear heels that much anymore because of my lifestyle. It doesn't really warrant it. But if, for example, I was to go on holiday this year, I really want to go on holiday this year, but well, we're gonna go on holiday for our honeymoon. I would probably take these with me. These I bought for my sister's wedding. So these were my bridesmaids shoes. These are from Matt and Nat. So they're vegan leather, vegan suede. They are so beautiful. These are my shoes from Beyond Skin and I'm so sad. I like literally just looked on Instagram just to take a break and I saw that Beyond Skin are shutting down and I absolutely love them. I remember buying these shoes and being so impressed. They're such good quality. I have worn these so many times and they still look so perfect. Like the heel is so good and I'm just very sad. I think they're doing a closing down sale so I will leave them linked below to go and give them a last little bit of support. But it's just sad because they're like a vegan shoe company and I guess the pandemic has, yeah, caused them issues. But I love these shoes. These are a classic pair of black shoes with a small heel and I have worn them so much. This pair of red heels I wore to a wedding. I absolutely adore them. They're so beautiful. I really don't want to get rid of these because like, I feel like I'm so serious with my clothes sometimes. And like, this is one of my goals for this year to be just to be less bloody serious. I feel like it's what feeds anxiety and feeds mental health is just like, I suppose it's the pandemic, especially it's like staying in and not, I don't know, doing fun things and not traveling and not seeing your friends. And it's just makes life feel so serious when the news is always just doom and gloom. And I feel like that's reflected in every part of my life, including my wardrobe. And these shoes are fun. And I wanna be fun this year. And I'm gonna wear these shoes this year. I might wear them to the wedding. Maybe I'll wear them on Valentine's Day. Like, even though they make me like six foot five, I just, I just think they're gorge. So yeah, I'm keeping these. These shoes I know that I'm gonna get rid of. I loved them and I wore them loads when I got them. Uh, these are from Koi Footwear. But I used to travel a lot more. I used to go on holiday. I used to go up to London all the time. So I would take these with me in the summer and I would wear them because they would make an outfit look really cool. But I just don't have um, a life like that anymore. Circumstances don't mean that I end up wearing that kind of thing because I'm gonna wear these in <laughs> my Birkenstocks. Honestly, if you don't have a pair of Birkenstocks, they do vegan ones. I'll leave them linked below. They're literally the best shoe on the planet. These are my zero barefoot uh, sandals. They're so practical for holidays. So they're pretty much like a summer shoe. Um, and I actually want to get them out more because 
I think I would wear these more um, in Cornwall in the summer if I was going to go on a walk because Birkenstocks can rub if you wear them like you can't really wear them hiking you can wear them to like the beach so these would be perfect on a hot day if I was going to go for a walk with Roxy. These are two just plain classic um, slip-on shoes I actually do wear these a relatively good amount whenever I go to meetings or something. I've got my Toms, these I live in again in the summer, They were, I wear them so much, so they're going to go over there. And I have a pink pair of Toms, and I don't need this many pairs of Toms, but I can't bring myself to get rid of them, they obviously kindly sent them to me, I was um, worked with them, and I love them, they're so cool, they look really great with an all black outfit, so I just, I don't have any reason to get rid of them, even though real world Maddie probably wouldn't own two pairs. I've explained this with my toiletries, like real world Maddie would have a very small amount of toiletries, but because of my job, that just isn't a reality. I, have, I share sustainable, cool brands with you, so I get sent stuff. Um, these I wore constantly in the summer, so they're gonna go straight in here. And these, I really like these. These are kind of like little slip-on leather. I got these from a charity shop. These are actually originally from M&S. Some little slip-on leather loafers. I just think they're so cute. But I don't really wear them. I don't know why. I feel like whenever I wear shoes like this, it makes me feel, um, I don't really wear these. I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't know what they make me feel, but I just don't think they're, they're the ones. So they're gonna go. There's not enough circumstances in which I wear them. These were much more me at university when I go to the library or whatever. It just isn't, isn't applicable anymore. needs to be fixed. I put it in the washing machine. It's not supposed to be washed. It's supposed to be hand washed and it ripped. So I've got a fixed pile over here. Love this dress. Keeping this. Keep. My beautiful naked generation. I love these dresses. Keeping this one from sea salt. Can't wait to wear this in the summer. Lovely Linen Fox Maxi. I wear this all the time. I think in the summer I'm gonna get it in white. Potentially tied with that Naked Generation dress. My most worn item in my wardrobe is my Linen Fox dress. Again, because I wear it so much, I think I'm gonna get this in another color because I wear this so much for videos and it's my dress that makes me feel really pretty and it's so practical. The length is gorgeous. Everything about it is just a winner. Does this wash me out? That's my only worry. I don't know. No, I like this dress. This is another holiday sort of thing. The only thing about this one, I got off this off Depop and there was a stain on it ever since I got it. So it doesn't fit me currently. It's like a very small little thing. So I think this is gonna go because it doesn't fit me and it's got a mark. This, again, I love this, but it's so small um, that I just, I can't justify it. I got this on Depop and it's, it's lovely, but it's just so short. I think I wore it like once or twice when I was wearing, when I was wearing a bikini and even then I was a bit like, whoa, my bum's out. <laughs> this is so tiny, it may as well be a top. Like, I'm really tall, why? It's just so small. Um, it's just purely a holiday dress and I love it, but I got it from Depop again. I think 2018 I went on quite a few holidays and I just like spent like 100 pounds on like loads of little dresses on Depop that were like 10, 20, 30 quid each. Um, and took them on holiday with me and wore them all that summer and I loved them but I haven't worn them since. This is another that sits in that category. It's so small in fact that the sides have a big split and I had to safety pin them but I still wore this. I rocked this around Barcelona because it was so hot um, and it is cute but it's just far nicer for me to get rid of this. Um, when I say get rid, by the way, 
I'm probably gonna try and sell a lot of these things on Depop because I got them there in the first place. I seem to favor this style. It's another one of these dresses that basically is like a top. This one though I love the most, I just, because it's so big, but it is so short and tiny. I've pretty much only worn this on holiday or for a photo shoot. So that should give me the indication that I should get rid of it. And then we've got my Burberry coat that I've had since I was 16. I bought this on eBay, I saved up, and I think it cost me 200 pounds, maybe 300 pounds, um, because all I wanted in life was a Burberry coat because I cared about that kind of thing back then. And I still love it and I still have it and I still wear it. And smart me, back then, Got it in a size 12, even though I was a size 10, because I was like, this will be stand the test of time and I can wear jumpers underneath it. Over here we have charity shop and sell. Here we have the clothes that I'm not ready to let go of yet, so they're going in a bag and we'll come back to them in six months. Mark my words, in the summer we'll do a video and we'll go through it. Um, this is to repair, and then the rest, I think they need to go next door, that wants to go downstairs, and then I just need to do a tidy up with the remaining bits. So it's a little bit later, I had to walk Roxy and upload a YouTube video, but we have our bag of stuff that we're revisiting. So this is the next step in the book, which basically means once you've organized yes, no, maybe, you then organize those piles. So for me, this is kind of, I guess, a maybe pile, and that is going to be revisited. Then we've got a pile out here. This I'm going to be giving to my sister tomorrow for her to go through, see what she wants, anything else. I will be uploading to Depop if it's good quality, um, and I'll link that below if you wanna go check out Depop, follow me, see if that, something's up already or if um, you wanna follow me to wait and see when things go up. Um, and the rest will go to the charity shop, but I really want to put them in someone else's uh, like hands and try and sell as much as possible. I'm pretty sure that all of those things are really nice quality things. Most of it is I haven't worn it or it's not fitting me anymore. I will show you in the morning though the finished result because it's a bit dark and I think it would be nicer for you to see it when the whole room is tidy because I need to hoover, tidy up a bit and take this sofa out. Good morning, it's the next day and look what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm actually wearing something I haven't worn in a long time because I couldn't get to it. These are my beautiful pink Lucy and Yak dungarees. It's just made me feel really happy. I find that when I dress in happy clothes, I feel happier. But I'm gonna show you the um, wardrobes now. Um, I haven't done the sofa because I need Alex to help me. So I think we're gonna do that later on this evening because he's busy editing. But I do need to hoover in here because putting all the clothes on the floor made the floor look really dusty. <laughs> so here is cupboard number one looking glorious. We've got my tops, which don't take up loads of room anymore. I can see them. They're colour coordinated. Um, over here I've got my steamer and this little handy device. It removes, as it says on the tin, <laughs> removes fabric peels from your garments. Works great with like woolly jumpers. And then this is one of those things that I can't take it out, but basically you use to get lint off stuff. It's amazing. Works great if you have cats. Gets all their cat fur off of where they've decided to sit. We've got my beach bag. This bag, I'm a bit disappointed. I bought it and after one wear, um, this started coming unstitched. So actually I'm gonna take this out and this is gonna go in the pile of things to be fixed. And then we've got my backpack. This is like, well I do have one backpack over here. I might actually move it. So this is my Foul Raven, which is a bit more um, of a practical, well. Ugh. This one's a bit more of a practical backpack that I might use to travel and take my laptop somewhere or when we go away. And these two are more what I'd call like fashion-y backpacks because they are more just like a handbag on your back. But I've got this one from 
uh, JW Pay that I, they sent me in like 2016 or something and I've had it ever since. And this one's even older, I got this from my mum. I forget the name of the brand. Both of them are faux leather. Bay Bao Bao. Um, and I like having a black one and a tan one, depending on what I'm wearing. But um, I really, really like backpacks. I've got my sea salt winter, sorry, summer hat. <laughs> Definitely not a winter hat. This is looking very empty right now because I am gonna reorganize the cupboard next door and bring in some of my t-shirts, but it's got my vests, t-shirts and striped tops. And eventually I'm gonna put all my t-shirts from next door in here because my pajamas next door are looking a bit messy. We have my sports leggings, which are looking so much better. Now I've put all those ones that don't fit me away. Um, and some of them are in the wash. They tend to be rotated a lot because I'm in the gym most days but it's just so much clearer and I've changed the layout. So this is my main one that I'm gonna be using early in the morning and it's the easiest drawer to open. These ones are a bit loud and annoying. They often fall out, so that's perfect. Swimming costumes, bike kit. Look at all the space. Even more space here, we've got trousers, dungarees. We've got woolly jumpers. This one's a bit more stuffed full, but um, I have a lot of woolly jumpers. I live in the UK and then this, these are like, hoodies and sweatshirts. I know that's a lot of jumpers, but over the years I've decluttered jumpers and I end up buying them again because I literally wear them every day. I'm always cold. I live in a cold place. So I've got a lot of jumpers. Um, and then down here are my shoes, formal sort of heels and shoes at the back. Um, these are like my nice flats and nice trainers. And then in here, it's looking beautiful, all color coordinated, all my dresses so I can see them. They make me so happy to see like this and I'm going to really make an effort every time um, it's a nice day and we're, as we're getting into the warmer months to come in here and pick a new dress to wear. So I really use my wardrobe and I will definitely use it more now that it's displayed like this rather than stuffed in this tiny narrow thing um, and having half in here and half over there because they're all kind of long. I tend to prefer long dresses. And yeah, I'm just really excited to wear a lot of these things because I've just been wearing the same ones and forgetting about the others. And then down here, we've got my Burberry coat, my denim jacket. I'm definitely gonna bring a couple of my coats upstairs because they take up too much room downstairs. And I kind of want this to be my wardrobe and downstairs to be like dog walking stuff. Down here, we've got our bike shoes, my two pairs of boots. These are from Koi Footwear. I still love these and I wear them anytime I go out and I wanna wear heeled boots I literally wore them the other day on my birthday and I wore them the week before and then we've got my Birkenstocks which I will live in in the summer those zero shoes and my Toms all shoes I wear so that's great and it's just so organized hope you enjoyed today's video um, I'll definitely film when I do the chest of drawers next door and when I do Alex's cupboard I'm going to do that probably this weekend so it'll come up soon definitely check out NHS professionals I'll leave all the information down below uh, so go have a look at it, go click on the link. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and you want more decluttering videos. I think it's about time that I did the kitchen. Not a declutter, but a um, organized because when we moved into the kitchen, it was a similar thing. I just put everything away, but I really need to buy some more baskets, like storage baskets because everything's in there, but it's not divided up in baskets. I'm gonna try and find some secondhand ones or find ones that fit. Um, I did get some really cool wire ones, which were great. And basically do a bit of a stock check so that I know what's in there. So that when we go shopping, we know what we've got. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.